evening, and welcome to Storytime with Jason. The initial part, initial point of this podcast was to have a medium where I can tell stories and use my love of storytelling to tell stories to children, S- stories that will inspire, help them to learn about the world, help them with language development, help them also with imagination. And since that was such a huge part of my life growing up, I grew up telling stories to my younger brother and playing with G.I. Joe men and sticks in the mud and cardboard houses, right? And, and there was everything I did was ha- had a story attached to it, a make-believe story, a fictitious world, and it was, it was just wonderful. And that's the love of that fiction, the love of creating that uh, led me to get my master's degree in creative writing. Uh, with an emphasis in fiction, and and that served me very well. And then when my wife and I, you know, discovered we had a little one on the way, I wanted to create this podcast so I could tell her stories, so I could have it have there be a permanent record of I don't know the little stories that I make up and that I give to her and things like that. And it's kind of evolved a little differently. You know, there's been a lot of like we've gone through, <clears throat> excuse me, gone through Aesop's Fables and a lot of Robert Louis Stevenson and poems and things like that, all of which are good. And some I've read to her, like why I'm holding her, some why she's asleep. But the intention of this was always to be a place where I could record the fun, make believe stories uh, that she and I create together. That I you know the same kind of stories that I told my younger brother when we were children and that are now lost. Hopefully, this can be a place where they live forever. So now I'm making a little bit of a change to try and get more into that initial spirit of it. And that's with a series of uh, small stories that I've written called Yonder the Adventure Kitten. And it's about a little golden tabby uh, named Yonder who always tells his parents where he's going as he puts on a little brown felt cowboy hat, a little blue bandana, and he sets off into the world to learn about it. And my intention is that children who listen to this, and even adults, because I learn some stuff every time I do a do research for one of these little stories, um, that we can learn about the world around us and the world we ha- inhabit and can get used to walking up and saying, you know what, it's okay that I don't know something I want to learn it from someone else so that way I know it and I can teach it to other people. When Yonder goes out on his adventures, he always tells his family where he's going. So that's a good lesson for kids to learn. And as you listen to it, he always knows the people who he's speaking with because it's dangerous in this day and age for a child to you know, leave home without telling anybody where they're going and to walk up to a perfect stranger. So in these stories of Yonder, he always tells his family where to find him, and he goes out on an explore. You can still have great expen- uh, great adventures and explore, even though you know, you're know you in the backyard and your family knows where you're going. And then he meets up with friends, and he learns about them and their habitats and what they eat. Uh, this first episode we're going to be doing, he meets uh, Yonder the Adventure Kit and meets Sammy the Squirrel, and Sammy shows him all about you know, her nest and where she lives, and he meets Ruffles the Rabbit. And then the next episode, he meets Bessie the Dairy Cow. Another episode, he meets Darius the Deer. And another episode, he meets uh, Chippy the Chipmunk. And that's what I've written so far. And they'll be told in different order. Uh, the the uh, uh, the squirrel is going to be, uh, Sammy the Squirrel is going to be the first story. And then I'm not sure what order I'll put the others in. But they are all independent. You don't need to listen to one to be able to understand the rest. Yeah, so that that's a little bit of just a background of why of where of where Yonder the Adventure Kitten came from, and I really hope you enjoy it. But I also really hope that if you do enjoy it or you do like it, please click the like button and leave a comment with a thumbs up or something because I'm writing these stories and doing research for them about the different creatures and things like that. It they're longer. It takes longer for me to produce these than it does just opening up a book of Aesop's fables or pulling some uh, children's nursery rhymes from the Gutenberg website. It's a little more uh, energy intensive and I'm happy to do it, but I want to make sure that uh, they're resonating. And if there's a change that needs to be made early on, I would just rather handle that sooner than later. So I'm very much open to any feedback or any comments you may have, positive or negative. And if it is don't get me wrong. As soon as it's positive and you really like it, 
just give me that thumbs up or give me the, yep, good to go or something like that. And I'll know we're on the right course. So I hope you enjoy listening as much as I enjoyed writing and reading them. I will see you for our first adventure, which is going to be Yonder the Adventure Kitten meets Sammy the Squirrel. Cheers.